Hello everyone, this is Maelstrom MTG, and I want to start by saying that I cannot come up with deckless names. Like, if it's some weird combo deck, I will not be able to come up with the name. If it's some control deck, sure, I'll come up with a name, make it sound kind of cool. I have no idea what to do for this deck. So if you, it, after listening to this uh, video, please let me know below and let's give this deck a name, like a better name than Electromaro. That's horrible. It's it's horrible. I, I'll if if I see a name in the comment section that I that I think truly fits the deck, truly makes the deck like seem like decent, then I will change the title of the uh, video to that deck. Anyway, um, welcome, this is Modern on Budget, and we are back to a traditional video. If you uh, watch any of like, my first 60 videos, I do want to get back into some more deck lists. I know I've done a lot of gameplay recently, and that's because people wanted to see gameplay. But I will do a deck list every once in a while, and if I and when Strixhaven comes out, you can bet that I will be doing deck lists for sure. Anyway, diving right in, we have Runway Steamkin as a way that when we cast red spell after red spell after red spell, we're gonna be able to get more mana, and it do it doesn't hurt to have a four four creature. Now, uh, the reason why that's important, though, is because I want to tell you the goal of the deck uh, before I actually talk about the cards individually. The goal of the deck is to use Locket of Yesterdays uh, combined with um, combined with cards like Electro Dominance, particularly Electro Dominance, because it is the uh, it's going to be the biggest card in the deck. You could also put other X cost burn spells in here, but I found that when I tried that, it made it a little clunkier. Where this is very, um, it's very straightforward to the point. Um, so we have Electro Dominance in here as a way to, well, as a way to get extra value out of that X. For example, if we have three Electro Dominance in our hands, and four of these on the battlefield, that's that's not in our hand, but in the graveyard, and then four of these on the battlefield. That is like the dream world of where to be, but it might not happen, but on the chance that it does, we would automatically have X be at least 12, and then any amount that we pay after that will deal even more damage. And then we even have Pass and Flame, so we could cast them from our graveyard again. So we have a lot of extra value. Uh, so the point is to use Locket of Yesterdays. I don't know why I said tomorrow. Maybe I, maybe when I made the deck name, I thought tomorrow, not yesterday. Yeah. So the point is, I need a new deck name. So let me know below in the comment section, and we will figure out which one is the best name. Uh, things that we can use to uh, get extra value out of Electro Dominance are things like Wheel of Fate. Wheel of Fate, we can play off of Electro Dominance even if X is zero, which will make everyone discard their hand, draw seven more cards, which will mean that all of our spells will cost less. Uh, we have Lightning Bolt as removal, we have Desperate Ritual as a way to like ramp up, we also have Pyretic Ritual for that same reason, and Manamorphose to filter. Well, we don't really need a filter, but we do like that card draw and the fact that it does replace itself with mana. So it's a free spell. And uh, if we have Lock of Yesterdays out and one of these are in Graveyard, then we are netting mana. Um, then we have Thrill of Possibilities as a way to discard spells. Um, for example, I don't know, like... We can we can get some extra value out of discarding things like Pass and Flames, for example, is a card that we're more than willing to discard. Um, some of these other ones we can we can go without. Like you don't need all of the rituals. Rituals are important for like the turn you're comboing off, or they're important for the sideboard cards because you'll see that we have three drops, 
and we have three drops there because you want to be able to use those ritual cards to be able to ramp up to three mana on turn two and be able to just get that card out. Um, we have Thrill Possibility though, it does draw us more cards and card draw is very important in a deck like this. If you want to run more of the cards like this, like Tormenting Voice or uh, Cathartic Reunion, then go all out, go full send into the combo, um, but you have to really decide, okay, what am I getting rid of? Um, because I already have Wheel of Fates. If you don't like Wheel of Fate, then replace it with one of those cards, but Wheel of Fate is such a powerhouse in this deck. Um, then after Thrill of Possibility, we have Valkyrie Awakening, which is going to act as a land or as a wheel. So it's going to allow us to put any number of our cards in our hand to the bottom of our library, draw that many plus one. It doesn't send to our graveyard, and I know Lock of Yesterday's, like, we really want stuff in our graveyard. It won't do that, but it still allows us to filter our deck even more, so it is a lot of value in this deck. Past and Flames, as I explained with Locket of Yesterday's, is absolutely insane, and you can get a ton of value in one turn. Uh, Lightning Bolt's in there as a little extra damage or removal, as always. and. Then uh, Runaway Steamkin, just once again, if we have all these cards that are adding mana, drawing cards, etc., having Runaway Steamkin is a very, very powerful card. Now, I discovered this deck while testing, while, while testing for another video, and I was like, that's amazing. And so I, like, I tried to, like, look at their list, I tried to see what they had, but I found nothing, so I basically just went with, like, I went with some of what I saw, and then I went with some of my own touches, like Past and Flames, um, I don't think I actually saw that, um, I didn't see a Runaway Steamkin, and I didn't see Valkyrie Awakenings, but everything else I saw. Uh, then Bas uh, Blast Zone as a way to remove things because in a combo deck it's very hard to fit removal in because you have such a tight list um, and so which is why it's hard to kind of adjust these cards. If you were to ask me, hey what do I upgrade, I, I, can, I can tell you I don't think this deck exists beyond budget. Um, maybe you adjust the lands for like Forgotten Cave, turn it into a, um, turn it into a Horizon Land, but I don't think it upgrades past that. Um, Blast Zone is a way for us to get extra removal without hurting our combo. Forgotten Cave is a way for us to cycle, and this is... I like Forgotten Cave, I really like it, I know it's slower and I know people prefer the Horizon Lands, but... I, quite often, when I play Horizon Lands, I also just draw into another Horizon Land, where if I draw into another Forgotten Cave, I can just cycle it again. Now, I'm not saying Forgotten Cave's better, but I'm saying there is a true value to it, even outside of a budget deck. Then we have Eleven Mountains, because it's a red deck. Then for a sideboard, before I get there, um, if you if you think this is an interesting list, I know it's not like probably your conventional list and it's very vulnerable to graveyard hate but if you're interested in it at the very least hit that like button and heck if you even want to support the channel hit that subscribe and I would appreciate it. Moving on to the sideboard we have Tormod's Crypt as a 3 up for graveyard hate we have a brave for artifact hate and creature hate we have uh, sometimes if our opponent is such a creature heavy deck we just have to say you know what we're adding in more removal uh, we'll ditch the I don't know against a creature deck you probably don't want to wheel like you don't want them drawing more cards so you'll probably say okay bring in the braids bring out wheel of fates blood sounds are in there for you know those decks um, that you just yeah you know what I mean those decks uh, the decks that really rely on their lands. Um, it doesn't turn, it's not, it's no Blood Moon. So if you want, 
I guess if you want uh, an upgrade path, you can turn these into blood boons. And maybe change these to relics. Uh, I, I like Tormod's Crypt, though, because it's like it, it, it's a free spell. That being said, Relic is just a better card. Uh, Blood Sun, and then Fiery Cannonade as more removal. Uh, the hope is that if you cast Fiery Cannonade, and let's say Runaway Steamkin is on 2, not on 2, is on turn 2, and then turn 3, uh, I don't know, turn 3 or something, you could... The point is, like, hopefully you're casting something before, like, maybe you're casting a Ritual, which will pump it up, and then you're casting Fiery Cannonade, which will then pump it up to at least a 3-3, three, three. and if you do that, the run and wasting kin's not gonna die, but basically everything else will. Anyway, that's the list. If you like it, let me know below. I am very interested in this list. It's... It really... It, it, it really... Confuses me... But I can't tell you why it wouldn't work. Because, like, through the testing, it works. I just can't tell you why. Anyway, uh, I will see you next time, and I hope you have a great day.